What's going on everybody? It's the Game Master 84 Connect you guys today. A brand new episode of Daily Dose. That's right, Daily Dose gaming news every single day, Monday through Friday. Let's get into it. Oh wait, before I forget, make sure you guys are going hitting that subscribe button with the bell icon before we get into this video. So don't forget, just do it now before you guys forget at the end of the video. And here we go. Into the news. A lot of news came out today, guys. We got a uh, Dark Soul Dev is working on a George R. R. Martin RPG based off of uh, Game of Thrones. Nice big fat rumor. I mean, it would be would be aptly timed with the end of the TV series. I think now, if any time, would be the best time to potentially launch it. Um, this news came from Spawn Wave in collaboration with Liam Robertson. Um, you know, it is a rumor. So, I mean, take it with a large, large grain of salt. Next. Twitch Prime. You can get 12 months of Nintendo Switch online subscription. Um, you know, they, uh, Twitch Prime gives away subscriber benefits, you know, uh, free Fortnite, Pop G skins. Um, but today they revealed up to 12 months of free on Nintendo Switch online subscription. Uh, the reward is entirely free to Twitch, Twitch Prime subscribers so long as their account is active at the time of claiming. Technically, the Nintendo Switch Online subscription is split into two chunks. The first three months, three blah blah blah, is available immediately to Twitch Prime subscribers. The second nine month subscription requires that users stay subscribed to Twitch Prime for an initial 60 days from the time of claiming the initial three months. Um, basically, they just want to make you know, make sure you have some skin in the game so you get um, three months free just off the rip. And then if you're around for 60 days, you get the extra nine months. Really not that bad. You can do it monthly, 20 bucks. I feel like it's a good deal. I have no idea how much Nintendo Online is, but I feel like that's a pretty darn good deal. Next in the news. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition Remastered Announced. That's right. Everybody was worried that uh, it wasn't going to be announced. Um, it didn't pop up in the press conference, and everybody's like, hey, wait a minute. What's going on? Um, you know, and so everybody's a little like, oh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, but they announced today that the Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is releasing on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on April 3rd. Uh, so literally, guys, we are going to be waiting, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six days. Not even a, not even a full week. Um, I think it's really awesome. I am, I don't know, depends on the price tag. I might pick it up, hard to really say. Um, but it'll definitely be interesting and exciting. So... Um, oh, and it comes with all the DLC, so that's pretty sweet. And in other Gearbox news, Bulletstorm Duke of Switch Edition announced at PAX East 2019. Um, this was kind of one of the rumors is that it was going to be Bulletstorm, it was going to be Duke Nukem. Um, but it's officially been announced that. Uh, the Nintendo Switch will be receiving Bulletstorm Duke of Switch Edition at some point during summer of 2019. Uh, so just a few months away, guys. You guys will probably be getting this over on the Switch. Um, I think it's a pretty cool game. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's going to be really awesome. I think it's really cool that Nintendo Switch is getting a game like that. Um, and yeah. So, let's see. Moving on. Oh, that's right. The Xenoblade Monolith, right? Uh, da 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 Monolith Soft is a company that seems to be actively hiring people. Working on so Monolith Soft is uh, hiring a lot of people um, to be working on an unannounced Legend of Zelda game, presumably for the Switch. Monolith Soft has sent out a tweet looking for recruits and is currently hiring programmers, designers, technical artists, and support staff. Um, it's safe to say though that they are probably doing the next game. Or the the crypt of the Necro Dancer and Legend of Zelda crossover game. I personally think that's probably what they're working on. Um, they have done some other stuff in the past, so it could be something a little bit more more high profile. Um, but I do think that's probably what they're working on. It's either that. Um, I think it's probably that Cadence of Higher Roll. We'll see what happens in the future. Let's see if I'm right. Mark this in your journal so that you guys keep about what I tell you guys in the news. Next, Stalker 2 website springs to life with new art and music. What? 
Yes, guys, Stalker 2, for you guys who missed Stalker 1, the game, it's been out, has been out for a while, um, and, uh, it shared a piece of art back in May of 2018, um, and hasn't really done anything since, and then today there's a tweet, um, and everything, and so it was really, you know, hashtag Stalker 2, Stalker 2 on the, on the art, I mean, apparently it's coming back, uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, the wave. Let's see here. The original Stalker Chernobyl was released in 2007. The first British shooter set in the area around the site of the world's first nuclear disaster, or for the world's worst nuclear disaster, a Soviet era power plant that melted down in 1986. The Clay Claim series includes Stalker Clear Sky and Stalker Color Pripyat, is the precursor of the modern open world sandbox genre, and highly regarded for its use of des disparate AI controlled factions. Um, in 2011, Sergei Grigorovich on service immunity shut down the company. Um, the company has since released Cossacks 3, a real time strategy game, and the sequel to the franchise that made the company famous from Russia. Um, they reached out for people, people have even reached out, uh, GDC or Polygon, Game Rant, and IGN have all reached out for comment, but no one's responded yet. Um, so yeah, it looks like it could be a 2021 launch window was previously announced. Uh, we'll have to see if they can keep that going. Microsoft bans April Fool's Day pranks. Lame. Uh, Microsoft has uh, banned all pranks that are uh, public-facing. Um, and you know, they just want to avoid any kind of, uh, they just want to avoid any kind of backlash. Um, so, I mean, it makes sense. It's sad, but it makes sense because usually tech companies do the best April Fool's Day pranks. More news from the Microsoft front: Minecraft update removes his reference to Notch. It's kind of a big deal, guys. Um, they took out, you know, the made by Notch and the work of Notch, uh, the, in the very beginning of the game, right when you're pressing start. Um, I mean, I don't. I mean, he hasn't been involved, you know, in five years. Did anything to do with Minecraft? I know it's crazy to think that Minecraft got bought five years ago, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's a that's a tough that's a tough sell for me. Um, I understand why he was taken out, but at the same time, I think we should have kept him in. Uh, Esports organizations are betting big on the untested Apex Legends. What? Um, among the organizations, so let's see here. Among the organizations getting into the game is Sentinel, the organization that owns the Overwatch League franchise, Los Angeles Gladiators, and Genji, a Korean multi-gaming team. Genji also have a Overwatch presence. They are they own the Soul Dynasty, as well as a Le League of Legends team and a Fortnite squad, and have a presence in the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Um, but yeah, everybody, you know, um, we'll have to wait and see. I mean. People are starting. I don't know. It, it it's weird. It's weird with esports and gaming these days. Um, I probably should make a video about that, or maybe put that in like a TBD. Maybe we're gonna talk about. It. I think we've probably talked about it before, honestly. Um, I can't be a hundred percent sure on that, but I do believe we've talked about it before. Um, we'll probably talk about it again this uh, in the next podcast, though. Uh, kind of sad news today. Cause for ride to retire from Sony. Uh, he is the former PlayStation boss. Uh, he is the Sony Corp chairman. Uh, Kazuo Kazurai, the former head of the company's PlayStation business, is retiring. He was stepped down from, as chairman on June 18th, bringing his 35 career at Sony to a close. Um, he will continue to provide a console as requested by Sony's management team, acting as a senior advisor for the company. He was named chairman in 2018 after stepping down as president and CEO of Sony in April. Since the passing of the baton to Yoshida San last April as chairman of Sony, I have had the opportunity to both ensure a smooth transition and provide support to Sony's management. 
I am confident that everyone at Sony is fully aligned under Yoshida san's strong leadership and are ready to build an even brighter future for Sony. As such, I have decided to depart from Sony, which has been a part of my life for the past 35 years. I would like to extend my warmest gratitude to all the employees and stakeholders who have supported me throughout this journey. Uh, Harayo, who is 58, um, he joined in 1984. Uh, you know, it, he's been there a long time, guys. Um, he joined the uh, PlayStation division in 1995. Uh, four years later, he was appointed the president and chief of the SEA, and in 2006, he took over Sony's video game business worldwide. Uh, he also became the president of the Network Products and Services Group, and in 2011, assumed responsibility for all of Sony's consumer electronics um, until his retirement. So he will be missed, pioneer. Um, but in other Sony news: PlayStation 5 may allow for digital trade-ins. Holy jeez. If this is true, this is a huge thing, guys. Um, Sony pa so Sony recently filed for a patent uh, describing a system that would allow users to trade in digital items between users, meaning that players will be able to resell their digital, digital games as well as gift them. Gifting games has become an industry standard for most platforms, but the ability to trade in games hasn't been accomplished by anyone yet. Which would equal which would equal a few extra drops to Sony's bucket if the features if the features ships on the PlayStation Five. I think that's really cool if they can get that done. I mean, the fact that it's even being talked about is really amazing. Um, as we can kind of see everything going more digital, um, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, the fact that I would be able to resell it to somebody and then get some money back uh, on a digital game that I'm usually just stuck with. Um, pretty impressive um, I'm interested to see if that makes it on the PlayStation 5 uh, but only time will tell we'll have to wait and see but guys that is all the news we had for today uh, let me know what you if we missed any news down below in the comments if we missed any news or if there's any other news that you want us to cover more in depth that'd be greatly appreciated and until next time guys this has been the key master 84 we play games to make gains here's gonna hate see you guys in the next video peace Extended heavy mag here, level three. 